Ready or not, it's time for Thursday Night Football with Gary Klein. I'm Lindsay Theory for the Los Angeles Times. It seems like yesterday the Rams were on the Coliseum field, losing by a touchdown to the Washington Redskins to fall to 1-1 one one on the season. But already, after just about a practice and a half, it's time for them to head up to Santa Clara to take on the 49ers. Gary. Connor Barwin says he's kind of happy that this game is being played this early in the schedule. It means everyone's bodies are relatively healthy and that they almost have two buys this season with two weekends off. Better that it occurs now than in week 12 or 13. That's mm -hmm. kind of the company line that we've been hearing since the end of last week's game. And I think uh, the Rams are going to go into this relatively healthy. Kayvon Webster, a starting cornerback, may be out, but I think really he's the only one that's really questionable. So the Rams... Look pretty good, at least health-wise, going in with a short turnaround. Sean McVay was very critical of his performance calling the offense in the loss to Washington. He says he needs to figure it out, get them in a better rhythm. Of course, Todd Gurley, he looked like he was in a great rhythm as he hurdled a couple of different defenders. Though Sammy Watkins, Robert Woods, a few of those guys really didn't have a great performance and want to turn the page this week. Yeah, and the key, of course, for the Rams is going to be Jared Goff, the quarterback. Uh, a great performance in the first week, not so hot with the interception that ended the, the Rams' final threat uh, against the Redskins. He's going home. He's going back to the Bay Area. Last season in the opener, he was on the sideline. He was inactive. So you know he's looking forward to showing how much he's progressed. And the offense, as you mentioned, Sean McVay needs to get Watkins involved. The offensive line needs to get this rushing game going as well. Wade Phillips entered his weekly news conference before reporters could even ask a question. He goes, I know, I know, the run defense. How do they shore it up? Well, Aaron Donald, he only practiced three times before last week's game at about a practice and a half in there. And who knows how much better Donald's going to be this week. But one thing's for sure, the Rams need to find a way to stop the run. Although the San Francisco offense isn't necessarily something to write home about. It's not something to write home about because Brian Hoyer is the quarterback, but they do have a strong running game. Carlos Hyde is an effective back running the ball, also catching it out of the backfield. So those inside linebackers, Alec Ogletree and Mark Barron, I'm sure are going to be very active again this week. Mm -hmm. Donald should be better. And, I mean, he made a play last week that Phillips even referred to. You wrote about it. Mm -hmm. He got into the backfield. He almost intercepted a pitch and, and turned it into a pick six. A normal defensive lineman doesn't do that. So – He's shown flashes of what he can do. They're hoping he's back up to speed when they get to San Francisco. And for the second week in a row, Sean McVay is going against a staff that he's plenty familiar with. Him and Kyle Shanahan coached together for a period in Washington. There's some mixture, uh, the LaFleur brothers between San Francisco and the Rams. Those two guys will go against each other. So there's plenty of familiarity between the two staffs, which is something that the Rams kind of dealt with last week when they played Washington. You've got to think that Sean McVay is looking forward to a time when he's not necessarily going against people who know exactly what he wants to do uh, but that's the challenge first year coach but we can't say it enough this season right the youngest coach in modern NFL history he had a challenge last week going against his mentor and Jay Gruden now he's got another one with a quick turnaround going against Kyle Shanahan Thursday night is a color rush game so I have to ask Gary what color are you going to be all dressed from head to toe in uh, it won't be the mustard yellow it will not be but I imagine you may be going all red Absolutely not. Definitely not. All right. It's almost time for us to catch a flight because this week goes by that quickly. Keep it on the Los Angeles Times. Gary and I will be at Levi's Stadium to bring you all the updates as the Rams try to turn the season back around and go 2-1.